Hello everybody, it's me, DJ AZH2O, straight out of Phoenix, Arizona. And I'm going to do a little lighting program, a little lighting review and information. I got a, a question on Amazon. Someone said, hey, in the manual, which here's the manual, and I can testify there is no way in this manual that tells you how to set these up master slave. And there is nothing on the menu that tells you MSTR or SLB or SLAB or not neither one of those exist so this is how you do this you set each one at the same address so D O O one D O O one that's very simple to start with number one come out of number one go to number two out of number two go to number three just like you do any other cable with your DMX then change number one boom there they are, all three lights. Now, that's color. CC is color. And it, it, the, the manual is correct in everything that it says about color. It's, um, you have, uh, you, you, it shows you all the DMX stuff and it, different channels. But simple. CC is color. RB or R is your rotating color. P is pulse. SD is jump. FL is flash or strobe. Sound. Then you're back to your R, your, your color. And then D001 shuts them all off because number one is not getting a signal from a controller. So, there we are. Lights, camera, action. With the uh, U King Par Lights. They're the U King ZQ B262YK. I don't think you can see that, but let me. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's it. Amazon. They're like 80 bucks. Let me turn these lights off. If you put them all, if you put number one to DD. Oh, I passed it up. If you put it to. D001, they'll all shut off because number one's not getting a signal. You know what's nice about these lights, even as cheap as they are? See this? This is called the RBDMX1. You use it with record box on your laptop, plugged into your laptop, out of here, into light number one. Light number one, number two, you what? Slave. Master slave. This is the master now. Because this is coming out of your, com your, your laptop, which is hooked to your controller, which my DDJ-1000, yeah, I got one of those. Believe me, you see my other video. Anyways, it works with the RBDMX1. I hook the RBDMX1 into these four PAR lights, along with my Chave lights along with my gobo lights, along with my spider lights, and everything works according to the RBDMX program on Rekordbox. So, this little gadget right here, and everything set to that one address that you have to set it up in Rekordbox, but, you know, watch the video on that. Right here will control all your lights, and you're not sitting over here trying to do this, or trying to your laptop, or your your other devices trying to control your lights. The RBDMX does it all by itself. Look at the, watch the videos on YouTube. I, I love this little box. It's simple for me and I don't have to do anything but hook it all together. Anyways, you King, if you're wondering how to master slave them, that's how you do it. And like I said, it, the you King lights do work with the RBDMX1, it is in the program. So, if you got any questions, uh, ask it down below. I'll answer what I can. I am not a lighting expert. I know 
diddly about lights. I just stumbled upon this. So, um, if you got a question, I'll, I'll try to answer it. But hey, you King Lights, 80 bucks, Amazon. I'll see if I can put the uh, description below. I bought these like, like a year ago. I would, I, I might buy another four just so I can have eight or ten. And they're pretty simple lights to use. So if uh, you got any questions, ask it down below. Until then, be safe, be well, and uh, keep mixing.